Welcome to Rehash. On the internet where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. Welcome everyone, I'm Helix Brightstar and you are watching Rehash. Thank you so much to Helix Brightstar who provided our introduction. If you want to be cool like Helix Brightstar, just uh, check out the link in the description where you can uh, submit your own intro in exchange for a meaningful um, shout know, out shout right? out thingy. Yeah. So to scroll down, rip the description box open and send us an introduction. Why you gotta make it violent? I mean you gotta be violent sometime. You gotta rip it open, click it nicely, of course, and then send an introduction. You scare me. I'm sorry. So today we've got a couple of different news stories. Um, one of my news stories is Minecraft um, at E3 was demonstrated or demoed. Um, with the HoloLens, the Microsoft HoloLens thing, right. and since they're both now Microsoft products, yeah, I might as well utilize cool. both of them. Yeah. You had one? Yeah, so I wanted to talk about a new Tom Clancy open world game. I'm a huge Tom Clancy fan. Okay. And what else did you have? Um, and then I wanted to talk to everyone about um, the new South Park game that was announced at E3, um, South Park The Fractured But Whole. All right. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about mason jars and why they're amazing. So you had a newsy type whatever to start off with? I do have a newsy type okay. whatever. My newsy type whatever is Minecraft um, that was demonstrated uh, at the uh, E3 convention -y thing. Yeah, now, I don't know when E3 became all about video games. It used to be about electronics. In fact, I believe E3 actually stands for like electronics. Electronic Expo. Expo. I think so. It's oh. Electronic Expo. For Amazingness. Us. So we're going to show you a quick clip about this. If you'd like to watch the full video, click down there in the description. Could you give us a sneak peek of what's under that village, Sax? Sure. I'm going to grab the world, lift it up, and let's see what's hiding underneath Lydia. Ooh, huge stronghold right underneath. I'm placing some TNT so I can blow my way into this stronghold. I, I could use a light though, Sax. Good strategy. Using HoloLens, I have access to all console commands in Minecraft just using my voice, but um, I can just focus my gaze on the TNT and say, lightning strike. Step back. <laughs> Whoa! I think the pigs need an upgrade. Do it. Lightning strike. There you have it, zombie pigmen. So as you can see, you can do a lot of things, and, and what I really kind of like about this is it gives you like a, uh, if you'll pardon the term, like a, a godlike god presence over your Minecraft world. You're no longer tied just to your little avatar. You, you have full control to manipulate the world, as you see, from a you know top-down perspective, and even from the sides. Um, my, my thing is like... This is just now starting out. Like this technology has so much more time and effort to be evolved to be utilized in other games, not just Minecraft alone. The biggest thing that I had was if I wanted to get one for home, how much would it cost? Like probably way too much. A lot of money. Yeah, I'd like be saving up for a few years because I'd love to have one. You know. If people thought that Google Glass was expensive, we totally see the price tag on this. <laughs> and you had a newsy type, whatever. Yeah, so I want to talk to you guys about Tom Clancy's Wasteland. Now, as a kid growing up, is I that like a sewage? No, it's, 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 a, it's an open world game for Xbox One, PS4, and wasteland? PC. I guess it's just a wasteland. It's just a huge land of waste. Like a... Like a... Like a okay. Yeah, just a wasteland. So, regardless, I mean, it's, a, it's a first approach to an open world game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but as a kid growing up, I personally read a lot of Tom Clancy games. I read a lot of Tom Clancy games. I read a lot of Tom Clancy games. I played Splinter Cell Conviction or any of the Splinter Cell games. Uh, and I want to show you guys the trailer and get your thoughts. What do you think about the new open world game that Tom Clancy is making? Jimmy, roll the clip. Man. Most of us fear death. But for the Santa Blanca drug cartel, death is a saint. They embrace her, praise her, worship her. They kill thousands without repercussions. Trafficking poison across South America. Corroding governments. How do you fight an enemy that doesn't fear death? Got eyes on White Hat. You can't fight the friction! Cocaine is on the move. Cocaine is on the move. Targets are pulling out! White head is inside. Oh. 
So of course we only showed a short clip, but if you'd like to see the video in its entirety and see blood-soaked cocaine, <laughs> um, then uh, then then click through down there. There's actually a lot more to it, but that's for whatever stupid reason. That's the one. That's the thing that really kind of kind of resonated with me because drugs buy it, drugs buy it. Okay. No. <laughs> right. Um, what are your impressions of the trailer thingy? I mean, I liked it. It's an open world game. I, again, like I said earlier, you know, I, I grew up on open world games via Grand Theft Auto, and the fact that a Tom Clancy game is introducing like this strategic feel to an open world game is something I've, I've been wanting for a very long time. It's like Watch Dogs, but better. Cool. So you got a newsy type whatever? I do have a newsy type whatever. Okay, let's go. South Park, the fractured butthole. <laughs> the um, fractured butthole. <laughs> All right. Careful. <laughs> Careful. All right. All right. Um, so uh, we're going to show you a quick clip of that, and then we're going to talk about it here in just a second. Jimmy? Now a new foe has awakened. The relic reclaimed. And what was once a powerful union lies fractured throughout the lands. All right, who put the stick of truth in the toilet? That is not funny. This is a holy relic. We agreed to get rid of the stick. Why tempt its power again? That was barely even an RPG, Kyle. The combat sucked. We're going to do it bigger, and we will settle for nothing less than a 9-5 on GameSpot. A dark sorcerer has emerged. Who is it? Tell us, great mage of Xantros. Oh, man, I have no idea what's going on right now. Ha-ha! <laughs> Your superpowers are no match for me, Coonin friends! Coonin friends? Ah, oh, shit, we got the wrong game. Everybody switch games, we're playing superheroes now. Yeah! South Park, the fractured but hope. <laughs> now available for pre-order. Yeah, everyone pre-order. That's a good idea. Shut up, butters! So of course we only showed you a short clip. If you want to watch the whole thing, check it out in the description. And the thing that confuses me is we see a little bit of what happens after Stick of Truth. Right. And then it seems like it kind of transforms into another game. I don't know if this happens in the middle of this particular game. Or whether it, you know, that's like the opening credits to explain the timeline. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm excited. They're going in a different direction. And they also kind of pick on themselves saying that um, battle mechanics in the previous game like, been, sucked or yeah, whatever. Yeah, they have improved. And that's something I wanted to mention is <clears throat> they, they in the trailer, they were trying to give hints. They're saying, hey, the combat system, like you said earlier, wasn't that good, so we've improved it. I, I like it. It's always a funny approach. They're always making fun of the characters and, and maybe references to other games or, you know, even in real life. You know, celebrities. So, I mean, I, I really like it. I, I like the first one. The one thing that stood out to me was the stinger at the end with Butters. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, where they're like, pre-order, because that's a good idea. And then Cartman's like, shut up! Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, and then you had a newsy type whatever. I right. think it's more of on the whatever. Yeah, it's exactly on the whatever. Okay. So, a lot of people say that Saran Wrap or maybe Aluminum Foil is the best. Personally, I'm I'm a Ziploc baggie guy. Right. Some people even say Ziploc baggies are the best. I think mason jars are the best. Why are mason jars the best? You'll find out here in just a second. Jimmy, go ahead and let's roll the clip for the Freedom Family. Boss wants us to bear this here time capsule for his legacy. Give me that. I'll show you his legacy. <laughs> There it is, there it is. I've been waiting my whole life to see what's in here. Oh! Oh my god! What the? God. Ball mason jars. Keeping things fresh since 1880. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I admit it. I admit it, this has got to be the best thing that I've seen all week. Where did you find this? Reddit. No, 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 it's a video. You can't read a video. Just like you can't read a video game, 
But apparently, you... oh jeez, <laughs> that was a horrible mistake I did earlier. Yeah. But did I change your mind that you know mason jars are the best? It, look, if it can keep my <clears throat> essence, yeah, shall for we over a hundred years, for over a hundred years, yeah. yes, I like it. I, I think it wins. Um, I think this is like a fan made commercial. I don't think this is a real. Co- I mean. If it was a real commercial, I would literally go buy a mason jar. Like, I, 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 if, if ad, ads were like this, I'd go buy it. Yeah, totally. Um, so let us know in the comment section down below what you think of this ad. If you want to view the whole thing, um, just let us know in the description down below. And, um, or no, just click in the, link, the, the, the words. Just, just rip the description open and just start clicking the links. It's always got to come to violence with you. Just a few times. So, as is customary, because Helix Bright Star provided our intro, that means that he gets a shout out. Now, there are a couple of pieces of advice that we want to give Helix, and of course, yourselves as well. Um, the very first thing that I noticed once I clicked onto Helix's channel is the fact that his music is a little bit too loud in some of his videos. Um, to the point where sometimes it's not hard to hear him, but it's definitely distracting from his speech. Right. Um, and this is, this comes at a, at a weird place where we're trying to figure out the sound of our own show. Well, the thing about it is, for me, is as a YouTube content creator, when I make my content, I need to take in consideration what if, like, a little kid is, like, nine years old, he's getting ready to go to bed, he's trying to stay up late, and, like, he clicks a video and he's hearing, you know, loud dubstep. We don't want that. Not only is it hard to even hear the person, like you said, but it's just not right. So normally what I would do is just lower the audio. If used music at all, I wouldn't use it throughout the entirety of a video. And then with the whole playlist, that, that's an issue I have as well. Uh, as a YouTube content creator, it's ever so important to put videos into a playlist. That way, if you have a fan, they can actually visit your channel and watch every single video leading up to you know the ending. No, he- you. Helix, and the reason yeah. that we bring up playlists, Helix has playlists, um, but they're on his play. They're not on his main page, so he's not displaying those. Right. So when I go to check out his channel to to look at, you know, if I'm going to subscribe to Helix Bright Star, um, I, I don't really have a lot of, that he's surfacing for me. Right. You know, I could really, really love his um, his older series. I could start to, you know, fall in love with, you know, a let's play that he did a year ago, and maybe he doesn't do so frequently anymore, but. On the surface, it's kind of hard to discover that content, or maybe that content he doesn't do so often. I think that, um, you know, that's really important. No, I agree, too. Um, and other than that, a lot of text in the description. Some of it uh, I, I kind of advise against. Uh, he's got his um, his uh, PC specs in his description. I really kind of feel like that's something that belongs on the About page if you put it anywhere at all. Um, I know that it's a frequently asked question for gaming YouTubers, yeah. but still... Even then, like, put it like on an external link, maybe to like a Google document or something. Or that a tweet longer. Yeah, that way it doesn't spam the description of every video that you upload. Hmm. Um, so, do us a favor. Do Helix Brightstar a favor. Go into his comments today. I want you to spam hashtag, hashtag rehash. Yeah. Hashtag. And... Um, you're gonna say let's, let's just let's just say hashtag like five times. Hashtag, 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 hashtag. hashtag, 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 hashtag. Okay, we're, we're, we're done with hashtag. Um, so go spam him. Let him know that he has been uh, spotlit here on this show, and uh, make him beg for mercy. Let's go. Till next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, don't forget to be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Peace.